Imagine waking up every day, floating 250 miles above Earth, watching continents pass beneath you, and realizing your country no longer exists. This is the true story of Sergei Krikalev, the man the world would later call the last citizen of the Soviet Union. In May 1991, cosmonaut Sergei Krikalev launched aboard the Soyuz TM-12 mission to the Mir space station. It was supposed to be a routine five-month stay in orbit, but while he was up there, everything he knew on Earth began to collapse. The Soviet Union, the nation that trained him, funded the mission, and controlled his return was disintegrating. One by one, Soviet republics declared independence. Chaos spread across the government and space agency. Down on Earth, there was no money, no coordination, and no clear authority to bring him home. So Krikalev was told to stay longer. Months passed, then more months. He was stranded in space, orbiting a planet that was politically unrecognizable. By the time rescue plans were finally arranged, he had spent 301 days in space, twice his original mission length. When his capsule landed back on Earth in March 1992, the Soviet flag was gone, the anthem had changed, and his home city, Leningrad, was now called St. Petersburg. The world changed beneath him, literally. Yet despite it all, Krikalev continued to serve, later flying on NASA's space shuttle and becoming one of Russia's most experienced astronauts.